Hello Hika fans, Maturant here, and welcome to another episode with Shirin Ui Zombies. So it's been a while since I played this deck, but since so many people asked for my deck profile for this, of the updated version, because it got further support, I will be doing that um, soon, very soon indeed. So I'm going to be sending my Mizuki to the graveyard. Most likely, I don't have anything really to want to set up with, so I'll set some two face downs, and I've got my Shimonui style of Swallow Sword. I mean, Sword of Swallow. Sword of, <laughs> sword of Swallow. God, I'm getting, I'm getting tongue tied now. <laughs> uh, we go against Fluffles. Fluffles. Breakthrough. The Fluffles. No, I don't want to deal with that. No, bad dog. Instant fusion. Well, that's fun. We're going against um, Freifer Sheep. Ah, problems. Polarization. I'm pretty sure you're going to fuse with that sheep. So let's destroy it now. And banish. Uh, what do you do when you banish it again? Dagger one Shirin in the graveyard. I don't know. Uh, set up a creature. Set up you two in the graveyard. The banishment zone. The Fright Fest Sheep's gonna come back anyway, but I know this. But at least I don't have to um, deal with it as dangerously as I did before, because he was gonna go for Saber Tooth, and that would reborn the Fright Fest Sheep, and I would take a lot more damage. And then we get this option. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna banish my Mizuki to now summon out the Yuna Zombie. And something was willing to activate it. <laughs> but no. Yuna Zombie's effect. I can now increase my level or decrease my level, depending on what I want to do. Hmm. Yeah, I'll increase your level by one because I'm gonna be summing out Beals this turn. Because Beals is a great way of stopping Fluffles from doing stuff. So let's get a Unizomi um, Mizuki mean back into that graveyard. And I can level modulate you by discarding one card. And that's gonna be my Curse Katana Shirinui. Or uh, Yuto Shirinui. So it's been the first, first time I'm playing De on Dev Pro with this deck. So all the new art, all the artworks are a little different to how I would originally know them. And going for Tristan. Tristan's gonna add back that Yuto back to my hand. Just because I then can use him as fodder again to discard. And now it's Synchro Shokin. Synchro Shokin out. Beals in defense mode. And that's all fine. I can Mizuki and Reborn when I want again, but there's no point in that. All I need to do is make a defense until I have a variable point in which I can do stuffs. And that Fusion Reverse is fine. And you're adding Edge of Chains. All the chains. And Polymerization back to the hand. Which is going to be very dangerous for me. Hopefully this should all go fine and I should have a good duel with Fluffles. But you never know. This uh, You could find a foolish, a forbidden chalice maybe, or a breakthrough skill. And we'll be in a very bad position. But hopefully we won't have to deal with that. And then we can have... Lovely fun times with Shirinui's. Although his extra deck is like 12 cards. So that's a bit weird. Um, yeah. I mean, he must be playing pure Fryfer build. No other extra deck cards with exceeds and stuff like that. But Polarization is most likely going to be fusing that Fryfer Sheep with an uh, Edging Chain. And another monster, as I said. Fluffle cat. Oh. Like, if someone 
you either play a fluffle cat or a fluffle rabbit in uh, for Fire it's depending on what version you prefer. So this guy is obviously preferring the fluffle cat, so I don't think we're going to see the fluffle rabbit anytime soon. But he's very durable at work. And now look, very powerful monsters that can't be destroyed by battle. This one can't be destroyed by battle. And then when this one is destroyed by battle, it's going to reborn. And that's going to cause a lot of problems for Beals. Beals on wheels. And I always get the messages on Facebook when I'm recording, do I? Ah. I wonder where he's going to go with this, because I know Tiger can't kill it. He's going to banish it. No? I was going to say, I thought I didn't see the fluffy sheep, so I thought he was going to banish his, fl his fluffy wings. He's going to summon out that ancient chain in defense mode. Bring a wall. And Beals is fine when it, where he is, because a pure version I don't think can kill a Beals. That's him forgetting one of the monsters. Another fry fur sheep. Interesting. And hmm. What can I go into? What do I want to go into? Hmm. Hmm. I can use my breakthrough skills so I can negate. That effect to be destroyed by battle or card effect, which seems to be the better play for me to do. And I can summon out into something else. What should I synchro into though? If I go into synchro, that is. I'm going for Unizombie. Pro Unizombie probably go very effectively. Well, I can bring out level 8 that can attack because I can send Shirinui to the graveyard. But what level 8 do I want to kill? With killing with. I could go with Void Ogre. That's something I can do. I can start negating the attacks. But then again, it doesn't have any protection. And I've put Dragon Necro back in the deck. I'll go for Omega because then I control his hand. Yeah, that's that's the way I'm gonna go with this. Mizuki, banish, summon out the Yuna zombie. And that's always fun to see. Yuna Zombie now can increase the monster's level by one by discarding my Shirinui. And then I can normal summon my Chief Priest. I will not be using his effect as I'm only using the Synchro fodder. I don't really want to draw into him either. So I get my Omega onto the board. Switch that to a tab mode. And let's have it. And what else we want to do? Yes, we want to do the breakthrough skill. Banish and save a tiger troll. So Omega is going to kill that save a tiger. And Beal's going to do some damage to that. And it's going to reborn itself, as we know, from completely other things. And yeah, I can do it like that. Stand my face, I'm going to return Breakthrough Skill to the graveyard in order to use its trolling abilities to keep stopping their monsters having an effect. And he's entering the battle phase, so obviously I'm going to chain out my Omega. And he has a fluff of wings in hand. How nice. How nice. Those Frightfurs are not going to do much. Any rage quits. Uh, well, that's how they go. They can't, if they can't beat Beals, Fluffles can't do anything. Who said Fluffles were good? Hey. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode with uh, Shinui's and Beals with Frightfurs. The deck profile will be up soon, probably the next episode, so please uh, keep on watching and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this or see further episodes. Further uh, content, and please leave a comment below if you suggest the deck or suggestion for my channel in general. If you want to do me on Death Row, please um, hit me up when I'm online. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Matt Laurent, signing out.